Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, Inna shaytana lakum aduwun fattakhiduhu aduwa. He tells us a problem and he tells us a cure. The problem, Inna shaytana lakum adu. That shaytan is your enemy. He is your enemy. This is the problem. And he tells us the solution to this problem in the same ayah. He said, فَاتَّخِذُوهُ عَدُوَّ So therefore take him as an enemy. And if you think about any enemy, an enemy can come to you in a number of different ways. He can come to you sometimes as an open, clear-cut enemy. He says to you that, look, I'm your enemy. Would you trust this person? Yes or no? No, he's telling you I'm your enemy. You're not going to trust him. But also, an enemy can come in a more covert way, in a hidden way. He comes and he says, I am your friend. I am your advisor. In fact, this is precisely what he did to Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. وَقَاسَمَهُمَا إِنِّي لَكُمَا لَمِنَ النَّاصِحِينَ He told them, he told Adam and Hawa alayhi salatu wasalam, he told them, because he came to them to tell them, take from this tree. They said, no, Allah has told us that we can't take from this tree. Then he came, he took an oath by Allah. He said, Wallahi, I take an oath by Allah that I am from among the sincere advisors. Now Adam alayhi salatu wasalam couldn't imagine, could not fathom that somebody could mention Allah's name and then break that oath. How could he be lying when he's taken an oath by Allah? And he's taken an oath by Allah saying that he is an advisor. So when somebody comes to you as an advisor, he comes to you as if he's your friend, then your guards are dropped. If you don't know that he's an enemy, you may take him as a friend. And this is a trap. This is the way Iblis traps mankind. He comes to them as an advisor. He won't come. Yes or no? Disobey Allah. Nobody has this feeling. He comes to you and says, Oh, it's a little bit cold out there. Okay, I'm a little bit tired. I have to go to work. I have to go to college, school. Right? And he comes, he says, the water is too cold. So the person, he's thinking that it's like, inadvertently he's thinking that this is something good for him if he stays in bed. He might have a little bit of guilt, but he thinks this is something good for him. Because he needs to sleep, he's tired, he's going to get sick. This is how Iblis comes. He comes covertly, hidden, as a friend. إِنِّي لَكُمَا لَمِنَ النَّاصِحِينَ I am to you a sincere advisor. And so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the problem that Iblis is your enemy, He mentioned the solution. How do you deal with this? To take him as an enemy. If somebody comes to you as a friend, but you know that this guy is not your enemy, you know that he's backbiting you, he's plotting against you, are you going to listen to his advice? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Impossible. You're not going to listen to his advice because you know that this person is your enemy. So this is why Allah says, فَاتَّخِذُوهُ عَدُوَى So take him as an enemy. And one way of taking him as our enemy is by knowing the various traps of Iblis.